This is really bullish. I've always said that tickets and NFTs are a match made in heaven. We've seen Ticketmaster um, is to start embracing the technology. Um, you know, we've always had with big events, uh, a percentage of those tickets are being scammed. People pretend like they're tickets, they knock them off. With blockchain, if done correctly, they could really be proper verified. Um, and then you can have your ticket instead of it being a stub that you collect afterwards, you have it on as an NFT. So we've seen the F1 and the Monaco Formula One um, they have now launched NFTs uh, um, as their um, tickets to get into um, events. So they basically, here it says, revolutionizing the world of sports by integrating blockchain technology in a groundbreaking move. They partnered with Element, a renowned blockchain infrastructure corporation, and Barry, a leading web firm, to introduce a new era of ticketing at the Monaco Grand Prix held from May the 26th to May the 28th. The highlight of this innovative ticketing system is the issuances of NFTs as tickets. The Monaco Grand, Run is, uh, Grand Prix is widely recognized as one of the most prestigious and significant car races globally. It's been an annual event since 1929. The introduction of NFT tickets not only grants access to the highly acclaimed race, but also offers long lasting benefits to ticket holders. So you will get post-event privileges, including hospitality perks and discount for first, uh, future races as part of the package designed to foster brand loyalty among collectors. So we see almost a Starbucks approach to some degree where the more tickets you've bought over time, the more benefits you'll get going forward like a loyalty plan. Um, yeah, man, and I just think that's great. Another massive name. I mean, yeah. F1, Monaco, Grand Prix. You're saying blockchain technology is, is a better way of us doing ticketing than the way we were doing it before. Mm. So again, for those people asking, what do we want? Like with blockchain, it's all a scam. I say to you, well, why the hell would F1 uh, start integrating it as their ticketing system? Right. Yeah, totally. Also, I just uh, I just snagged it, by the way. I just bought the one. I found another one near the same price. Go. I just bought it with the card. I just I guess I'm just not going nice. to buy the ETH or something. I don't know. It just doesn't work. Um, but weird. You saw I had to verify my, my wallet there. Maybe you skipped out that step and when you're ah. not streaming, just go back. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, that was a bit weird. I don't, I don't like it when they ask for so many things. I mean, now I'm going to start to get marketing emails from Nifty. I'll just unsubscribe, <laughs> I guess. Um, Dude, I'm like like this was the biggest, bad. it's just so cheap. I'm like flying through these right now on the floor. <laughs> I'm like, I bought like, I just bought another one. All right, sorry. Go on. Uh, no, no problem. Just this is the biggest story of the week. I mean, okay. almost every um, thing that I follow has, yeah, yeah, has been saying Formula One and it's really, really big and really cool. Then we've got one more story. Um, so guys, at this time, um, we have answered all the questions that I've seen up to date. If there's anything else you guys want to ask us, a good time to put it in any of the chats. Um, if you want to request to speak on Twitter spaces, feel free. After this last story that we're going to chat about, then if anyone wants to ask anything, you're welcome. We'll do a QA. and a If not, maybe Kate and I will do a bit of live chat and then we'll end it off. Oh, How yeah. does that sound, Kate? Oh yeah, baby. Sounds good. Cool. So, uh, 